Hey, shalom brothers, shalom sisters, Bishop Nathaniel here. That's right, you know what day it is. It's Shout Out Tuesday. It is Shout Out Tuesday. And I pray you brothers and sisters join me every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events channel, where I will be reading your kind and inspirational letters, also thanking you for your kind donations, and also covering very important biblical information for the mental well-being of our 12 tribes. That's right, 12 tribes worldwide. So hope to see you then, every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events. Shalom. Before we move further, do you even know that you're an Israelite? I just figured that's around the other day. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm just gonna listen to you. You told me some stuff and you said that we were the first ones that went to Israel. We migrated from Israel. We the first ones in Israel, but we ain't, we ain't migrated from here, but we the first ones there. We, no, it, I don't know the yeah, that's not the full story. We took over. We, we we conquered that. That land was destined for us. We went in there and took it over as the Most High commanded us. But this is why you need to understand more about who you are, more about your history by coming to the school and coming with us so you can come back and educate your people. Right, right. Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28. We're going to get you the real basic so you can understand the history of your people is in this Bible, and you can align it up. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. So it says going to be a day that uh, if we don't obey to hear, hearken, the first four letters of hearken is here, that we are not going to hear the words of God to obey his commandments. So we're giving y'all commandments today, but as you see, you're the only person standing here. There's going to be a day where a lot of our people do not hear the word of God anymore. All praise to the Most High, you're here listening. That's a start. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Today you're going to be commanded some more statutes. You got the beard one. Now that you know to grow your beard, it will be who you to let that thing be now. Because you're a man of dignity. You're a God on this earth once you start keeping these commandments. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The reason why people going through hell, we in the hood, we in the ghetto, we in the, the worst parts of every city in the world, because we do not obey the laws of God. So he said, I'm going to put these curses on my people since they don't want to hear me. Read. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Okay, I got word that this is the worst neighborhood, if not one of the worst neighborhoods in Columbus. Is that true? That's because why? Wow, read that from the top. 15 again. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So I'm going to make it clear. Obviously, nobody really want to hear the, God in, the word of God in this community because you're the only one standing there, right? It shows why people have to go through these curses and they got to go through the hell that they're going through because they don't care about God anymore. They'd rather go smoke a blunt on the day of the Lord and go do what they got to do instead of learning who they are according to the Bible. Instead of understanding how to raise their household. Instead of asking questions, looking at signs that show what tribe they're from, how the real king look, the black Messiah, they would rather do everything in the world beside hear the word of God. That's why this community is going down in curses because nobody wants to hear it anymore. Give me the verse 32. Watch what else happens to our people. Read. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Was this not the black man in slavery? Our children, our sons and daughters were taken. Was this not the Hispanics in 1492? The sons and daughters were taken and given to another people. This is the history of our people. Our people will never know because they have no time for the word of God anymore. That's the problem with the so-called black community. They don't know that this book pertains to them. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people.
people. Today we call it children's services. Come into your house, take your children, and give them to another family. This thing is still happening today, but guess what? People are driving off because they don't want to hear the word of God. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. So whether it was in slavery or whether it's children's services, we will cry for our children all the day long. You ever watch 12 years of slavery? Roots, when people was hollering and screaming and they could not get their children back, and they took them and brought them to another place and gave them to another family. God said this is going to happen. You look in any Google, any history, nothing else, nobody in the world went through this besides the so-called blacks and Hispanics. Not another nation, not a Chinese, not a so-called white man. Their children never been taken and given to another people besides the so-called blacks and Hispanics. What is that telling you? This is your history book. Read. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. It said the fruit of our labor. Did we not build this country in slavery? Do we not still have Mexicans, so-called Mexicans, and black men working for low labor, even in the prison system, building this country, and another man come and eat it up. Another man go move in a building after we build, and then they eat it up. Another nation come in our neighborhood and sell bloods and junk food to our people and our community. What store around here do a black man own? I'm going to ask you that. Think hard. You, you can't count one because another nation will come to your neighborhood and eat up all the money. That's what's happening right before your eyes. Read that again. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. So after we built this country, a nation we didn't know came, took it over, and they eating good off of your labor. This is what's going on. Give me verse 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. It said more over these curses, what we read in, we could go on and on, and all we could do is explain the hood. Every scripture I read is giving you a clear picture of what's going on in the hood. It said no matter where you go, or where we run, these curses are going to follow us and overtake us until when? Until we be destroyed. What's your last name? Fragan, that was a slave owner name, you know that? You was destroyed by the white man, and now you got your name on his back. Now you rock his name. Now we play sports with our slave master name on the back. We was taken and destroyed. These curses go follow you no matter where you go. You say, I'm going to get up and change my life. I'm going to move to Minnesota. Guess what? Black people getting shot by the cops in Minnesota. I'm going to change my life. I'm moving to Atlanta. Guess what? You might become gay in Atlanta. You're still going to be in the hood in Atlanta. It don't matter. These curses are going to follow you no matter where you go. Pursue you, chase you, and overtake you till you destroy. That's why I'm going to ask you what nation you're from. What do you tell me? What's your nation? Where do black people come from? Until we was destroyed, my bro. Till we was destroyed, we don't even know where we're from anymore. This is how destroyed we are as a nation, and yet we'd rather watch football and smoke bloods than to learn where we come from. How do you teach your kids to be a man and to be a king of his nation when he has no nation? We, because thou hearkens not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments. He said these things are going to happen because our people do not want to hear the voice of the Lord God to keep his commandments. You learn the commandments by coming to school in a place of learning and learn how to be a man, learn how to be a father, learn how to be a brother, learn how to be a son. You have to come to the school to learn these things or else how would you ever grow into the word, into a man of God? You gonna be a hood nigga your whole life until you decide to make that change. Read. And his statutes which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. He said these curses gonna be on our people for a sign and for a wonder. A sign is no matter where we go, your pants sagging, you got taps on your face, <laughs> probably got a gunshot wound, you living poor, are people serving other nations? Getting fish and chicken from another nation. When you gonna go by, go hang out with an Arab to go eat chicken with? My mom cooked chicken. No, we make the best chicken. They took the recipe and now they sell it back to you. You go get pop, water, everything filled with sugar and salt, give it to your community and give it to another nation. Why? Because we do not want to obey the word of God. This is why we're gonna be destroyed.
use joy. We and we do it here with joyfulness and gladness of heart. I love being around these brothers. I thank God for seeing the Sabbath day. We love the commandments of God. We and upon thy seed forever. These signs will be upon our children forever until when? Until we reverse the game by actually starting to hear the word of God. This is not a religious book. We ain't no Christian pastors on the corner. We are prophets of the Most High God trying to show you your heritage. That's all we're doing is giving you the heritage of God, the heritage of so-called black people. This ain't no pansy movement. We're building a nation. We, verse 46, excuse me, verse 47, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Because we don't enjoy God and worship him with all the abundance of our heart for everything he's done with the sun raising on your face right now. Be grateful. Be grateful that you're alive and breathing to get another chance to repent. The little things, your health, your walking, your talking. You could be a mute right now in a wheelchair with another week to live. God can take your life from you today. Be grateful for every second that you have on this earth. Read that again. Because thou serves not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. For the abundance of all things he do so much for us and yet we don't give him no thanks. We don't give him no reflection of love. We do nothing but yet he still forgive you and wake you up every day to get your life together. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve Serve thine enemy. Therefore, you go do what? Serve thine enemy. Therefore, we go serve our enemies. That's why you might have black employees in this place. That's why no matter where you work, she work, we all serve our enemies. We got another nation sign in our check. We don't have no black on Walmarts. We don't got no so many black banks, but they still got to get a paper signed by another nation too. We have to serve our enemies. Why? Because we do not want to keep the word of God anymore. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, said the Lord. This is not a racist campaign. I want everybody to get it clear. IUIC is not a racist group. We do what the Bible tells us to do. We show the truth to whoever wants to see the word of God. It said, what did the Lord do? Read that again. Therefore, shall thy serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee. He said, we'll serve our enemies, which the Lord sent against us. We don't blame nobody for the stuff we're going through. We know it's our fault by turning our backs from the most high God. We don't point the finger at other nations. We got to step up as men and change what happened to us in the past. Change the cycle that we did. Change being a gangster. Change being a nigga. Change being a baby daddy. Now we're husbands. Now we're prophets. Now we good work. We got jobs. We raise our kids. We change the cycle of what they tried to make us be. We, in hunger and in thirst, they said we'll have to go to our enemies for hunger. You want chicken? Go see your Arab man next door. You want McDonald's? Go down the street and go visit another nation. You want Burger King, Chick-fil-A. No matter where you go, you're going to serve another nation. It doesn't matter. Hold on, brother. Get this meat. You a man. Watch this. Watch And in nakedness and want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. It said, you're going to go to him in nakedness, you're going to another nation for clothes, you're going for another nation for and one of all things, to the point you don't even know your nationality. You have to go to another nation and tell you that you're black, when that's just the color. How can that be a nationality when there's no nation behind it? Where's the country black at? Where's the country African American? Right, but we had to learn this from another nation. All things to a religion to make it a stick that our Savior was a white man. We went to them for everything and they lied to you. 400 plus years been lying to you and your father, your mother, their, their parents. You've been getting duped for years. When do we make a change as a people and stop the nonsense of hating our own brothers? When do we stop having baby mamas and not make them our wives? When does that change? Read that again. And he shall put a yoke of iron. He said he shall put a yoke of iron. This happened to us. You Google white man with yoke of iron around his neck in your phone right now. Press the image button. Nothing but black images come up. You know why? Because there's never been as such things in another nation with these yokes of iron around their neck. Read. 
and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Until you are destroyed as a man. You are no longer a man anymore. Now you're just a boy with a manly feature that claims to be a man. But you cannot be a man till you know where you come from and where you're going. If you don't know no direction, how could you lead when you have no sense of direction? How could you raise children when you can't lead them anywhere? You can't be a man unless you know how to lead. Give me Titus 3 and 3. You can't be a man till you know how to lead. How you doing, bro? This is the cycle we have to break. We have to break it. They've been trying to get us in this status for years to keep us at the bottom. Because they know when it's there for a sign or for a wonder, it meant that it was a wonder because we was once the greatest people on the earth. So now the nations look at us and shake their head like, look at these niggas. Because now we wonder, they wonder how we got to the bottom. Answer this, how's the fastest, smartest people in the world the brokest people in the world? Right. Bring it up. Man. We invent everything, we run every sport. How are we at the bottom of every nation? Every nation's ahead of us. Every nation has their own country beside us. How did we get to this point? You got any answers? We made it together. We tried to fight it together, but... We can't fight if we wanted to. If all the gangs in America decide to go on Facebook, make a group that they're going to get together and try to fight the white man, we're going to lose like a mug. We're going to get buried. Why? What airplane do you know in the hood? What submarine do you know in any gang in the world? We don't own any military equipment, but yet we super gangster. No, brother, we will die by another nation's hands in a heartbeat. The only way we can overcome is to get back to God, and he's going to fight for us. Watch this. Read the book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. So we ourselves up here was also foolish too. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm better than you or better than my brother because we was all in the same shoes. We all was out here gangbanging. We was all out here whoremongering. We was all out here selling drugs. But guess what? We had to put a stop. We had to look at ourselves and be like, we're not doing that to destroy our own people. When does it have to stop? We disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy. We was living in malice and envy, but the day of the slave is over and now the prophets have returned. With that we used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth